Das folgende Video wird euch präsentiert von IBM Global Entrepreneur, dem internationalen Startup-Programm für junge Unternehmen mit B2B-Software-Lösungen. Bewerbt euch jetzt und macht mit Big Blue den Planeten smarter. Welcome to Venture TV. Welcome, Jackson Bond. Jackson, you are co-founder of Relayer. What is Relayer? At Relayer, we are building a platform to connect um, smart devices and smart things with app developers. That's okay. in a sentence. We're yep. connecting smart devices and app developers together so that they can actually inter interact and create a new generation of uh, smart solutions. So a smart thing could be what, for example? Well, so there are very familiar smart things that many of us have heard about. Nest is probably one of the most well-known of these smart devices. But there are the wristbands that lots of people are wearing from Nike um, or others, Fitbit. Um, there are, let's say, smart, uh, so the smart thermostats, there are smart cars, uh, etc. What so makes what makes something smart is it has some sensors that can, uh, sensors inside of it mm -hmm. that measures its state and, yeah. and publishes it. All right, so you have hardware that analyzes things and then you have the output, the data output. And that, in most cases, that goes to an app that is made by the hardware manufacturer, like the Fitbit, you have that Fitbit app, and um, then you have the Nest app, and they all have their own apps. Relayer brings that all together, or how, how can you, could you imagine that? Right, so uh, we identified a problem after talking with hundreds of uh, app developers mm -hmm. and hardware makers, uh, people who make devices, individuals who yep. create things with, um, with circuits and electronics. And the problem was on both sides, that uh, the app developers really wanted to connect to some uh, devices to build apps across different devices from different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And the problem now is that the manufacturers um, are islands, essentially. They're creating their own vision of a smart device world, yeah. but not sharing it. And in this day and age, um, I think the future, we think, we believe the future of, of innovation and the future of the, let's say, the next wave of, of apps has got to be open and sharing data across different devices from different manufacturers, clearly, securely. So security is one of the primary, uh, well, the primary um, issue that we're dealing with. And um, we're working with partners to solve that. Um, data security is key, yeah. um, and um, but I think the ultimate problem is the islands, the yeah. manufacturers' islands. Right? So basically, you you take all these islands, give them one protocol, one language that they can that they can speak in, and then um, they can they can interconnect, and um, you can manage them all on one platform. Right. So we have device integration. So to integrate different devices with speaking different languages, and we function more or less as a translator. Okay, okay. So just yeah. translating different device information into uh, something usable for an app developer. So the yeah. device data, yeah. which is anonymous, it's anonymous data, yeah. um, but an app developer can use that to make an app. So they might, they don't, so an app developer doesn't care if the light bulb was made by Philips or if the light bulb was made by uh, Siemens. Um, or Bosch or whoever, they just want information f to deliver to a light bulb or a toaster or um, a plant, a moisture sensor or... So what, what basically happens now is that when you're wearing a Fitbit on your arm, on your wrist, um, then that sends data to, your, to the Fitbit cloud and you can analyze how, how much you've been running all day long. So what, what you provide is that you can take that data put it into into relayer and then um, on the other hand you have that light bulb that starts to glow when you when you had, had an extra active day or Here's something. A, yeah, so, so an easy example so using that example the, the Fitbit um, so why not connect the Fitbit to your heating mm -hmm. so after you come home from a run it knows uh, bring down the heating because he's going to be hot right yeah or um, you wake up in the morning And uh, the system knows uh, that your alarm clock connects to, let's say, uh, the weather, which connects to uh, your coat rack and tells you, wait, you've gotten up, now the coat rack alerts you. You don't need your raincoat today, you need, or you don't need your umbrella, you need your, your wind jacket um, or whatever you need. Um, connecting different devices, different data sources from different, different suppliers, different manufacturers to, to basically allow 
a new generation of creativity for app, app development. All right. And now in, in step two, you created your own hardware. What, what was behind that? It's, we, we have it here. It's called the Wunderbar. And um, if, we, if we take it to the camera, and we, you take it a bit, a bit closer to the camera, okay? So that's how it looks. It looks like a little chocolate bar, or like a little, little uh, chocolate box, and it also looks like chocolate. What's in there? So the, the, the Wonder Bar is a set of detachable sensors okay. that have Bluetooth low energy on them, each one. Each of these little modules has Bluetooth low energy and a different sensor, like a proximity sensor or a temperature sensor or a, a gyroscope on it. Uh -huh. um, so that you break it off. It has a battery pack on the back, so a little coin cell that you can stick into it. So it's, it's self-powered. You can break it off like a piece of chocolate, essentially, like a Kit Kat, if you will, um, and then place it somewhere on anything. Okay. And that thing suddenly can supply you with information. So you could put a uh, accelerometer on your cat if you wanted to track your cat. Okay. So the smart, uh, the, the cat that was not smart before, uh, maybe a bit smart, like That's animal smart. smartness, yeah. Right. But but actually, you can track your cat. You can track things that don't have an have an internal um, intelligence, like your your mailbox or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. So. The idea is a starter kit. It's, it's really just a kit to provide to app developers to give yeah. them an easy way to start programming the physical world around them. Okay. Um, talking to developers, we realize they just don't have the abilities uh, to start programming these things. Yeah. They're not, they don't understand hardware, they don't understand sensors, yeah. and they don't have the tools to create new apps. Uh, they're used to developing uh, with sensor data from their smartphones. The smartphones have eight different sensors or nine different sensors in them. But that's it. But that's it. And okay. it's all locked into the phone. But if you connect your phone sensors with your cat or your plant or your table or, or your weather or your noise levels yeah. or uh, pollution levels, you know, that becomes uh, really interesting. All right. So actually, that's a, that's a whole world of, of data that's coming. And you can measure almost everything that's out there. Um, you have that universal platform, um, and the the question that I have that's a that's a pretty cool idea, and that's uh, when you when you think it a bit further, then that's huge. Are there any competitors in the in the same area? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we, there's a lot of competitors out there um, that are either focusing very strongly on the business to consumer side or the business to business side, um, or they're using different protocols than we are. Um, But uh, our focus right now is to lower the barriers for developers mm -hmm. to start creating things. We are strong, strong believers in the open source, open hardware, open software. To, and we're going to be publishing our designs, uh, our hardware designs, publishing our firmware, publishing uh, our, our software, so that others can hopefully um, take it further uh, to a new level. Okay. Um, and I think this is unique, uh, as far as we know, this is unique. Um, Uh, as far as a platform goes. Uh -huh. And uh, once we lower the barriers, I think we'll find really, really interesting things happening um, with the developers that we can't imagine today. Yeah. If I'm a developer or um, somebody who wants to, to buy that stuff, uh, where do I have to go to, to get more information? Uh, good question. Thank you very much. Um, right now, you can get the Wonder Bar um, on the, at relayer.de slash wonderbar. Okay. Relayer.de slash, and that links to our crowdfunding campaign on Dragon Innovations. Mm -hmm. uh, we're using the Dragon Innovations platform. The guys there are really focused on Internet of Things and hardware, and uh, are really uh, helping us with PR and marketing as well. Uh, and one reason why we decided in the end to switch away from Kickstarter, where we had planned to be, uh, and focus really only on um, the, this niche market. Uh, they curate, they really, uh, the Dragon platform curates projects. They don't let anyone on the platform. They really okay. select projects and uh, do due diligence on the projects, which they did on our platform, uh -huh. on our uh, on the Wonder Bar. And then they decide if it's worth it or not. And they, in our case, uh, thankfully they did. And it's brought us a whole lot of valuable uh, corporate company connections as well as to um, the whole hardware uh, community. Okay. Cool. So uh, relayer.de slash wunderbar. And there you get more information. Thanks for being here. And uh, good luck with the Wunderbar, good luck with Relayer. Thank you very much.